with bronze being the first league players enter when they begin their ranked journey in Street Fighter V. The playstyles encountered vary from unconventional to self-destructive with little regard for their own personal safety. The vast majority of players at this level are either inexperienced, lack guidance for developing a structured game plan, or a mix of both. While some are just new to Street Fighter V or fighting games entirely, some players at this level just haven't taken a few key steps in order to objectively improve their gameplay, either through lack of direction, confusion about next steps to take, or they just don't care. In this video, we'll cover the bad habits most players in bronze display and break down strategies with concrete tips and drills to help you level up and move out of bronze. Controlling your character when new to a fighting game is a lot like inhabiting a new body for the first time. Being able to control your simple motor functions is something we take for granted as we progress from child to man-child, but this feeling of being foreign in your own body comes front and center for players in the Bronze League. Being unable to perform your moves with intent makes it difficult to begin strategizing how to play the game. You can't learn how to play a sport before you learn how to crawl. An over-reliance on jump-ins makes players at this level fodder for any opponent who has a basic ability to stop their air approaches. Relying solely on other players at their rank to be unable to anti-air makes many players at this level one-trick ponies. And the trick is not very good. However, people are a product of their environment. While relying on jump-ins hinders players from progressing, this would not become a common tactic at this level if it were not effective against other players. Players in bronze generally lack enough in-game experience and muscle memory to be able to anti-air effectively, allowing free damage to predictable air approaches. While practicing execution of basic moves can seem tedious, it can have profound effects on other areas of your game you would not immediately associate it with. Improving your execution will give you confidence in your decisions in neutral, your anti-airs, and your basic punishes. Practice performing your special moves, such as a fireball or dragon punch anti-air, 10 times in a row without making a mistake. If you mess up an attempt, reset your count to zero and try again. Perform this drill often to build muscle memory to allow you to play with confidence in a real match. If you can learn to anti-air, you can learn to progress out of bronze. Record the dummy in training mode doing a forward jump with a common jump in attack. Walk back and forth to adjust your spacing while the dummy repeats this approach, and practice timing the appropriate anti-air choice. Figure out what is a go-to button for the jumping angle you are practicing, and simply practice pressing the button at the right time to beat the jump in. If you have a special move that anti-airs effectively, like a dragon punch, you can substitute that in instead. Focus on anti-airing the dummy at different spacings to see what angles are effective for your anti-airs, and which aren't. Trust me, if you can anti-air, you can make it out of bronze. One of the most abused buttons amongst bronze players is the sweep. It crush counters, grants a knockdown on hit, and does more damage than a jab. So why not use it? This is what you're going to figure out. Sweeps are extremely punishable on block in Street Fighter V. Nearly all sweeps can be punished after blocking them by performing your own sweep in response. Go into training mode, record the dummy walking back and forth before doing a random sweep and then holding down back. Replay this action and practice punishing their sweep at different distances. The only variable you have to track is distance. Some sweeps are more difficult to punish at a distance, but there are answers to those as well. In a real match, just focus on punishing blatantly bad sweeps that are done too close. You will rack up damage from players spamming these moves. With the basic techniques and drills I presented in this video, you have all the building blocks for an effective strategy to conquer your opponents in bronze. All you have to do is do less. Don't focus on initiating with your opponents too heavily. Don't walk yourself into a corner, but hold your ground while focusing on anti-airs and sweep punishes. If you knock down your opponent, do not approach too close. Getting close will allow the opponent to disrespect your pressure and mash on wake up, perform an invincible move, or throw you out of your mistimed pressure. Instead, outplay your opponent with neutral control and punishes, and chip away at their life bar by punishing their mistakes. This is a surefire recipe for getting out of bronze. <laughs>